and welcome to News at this hour. I am your host Rika Roy. Now let's talk about the top story of the day. It was a day of intense political drama in Ranchi. Enforcement Directorate has arrested Hemant Soren. Soren has resigned as the CM of Jharkhand shortly after being taken into ED custody. He had resigned. JMM has uh, proposed Champai Soren as the next Chief Minister. Champai Soren is not related to Hemant and family but has been a close aide. JMM claims to have the support of the majority. 47 MLAs have proposed to form a new government but the governor has not given them time yet. Um, he has told uh, JMM that there needs uh, that he needs time to read the letter that has been given to him. My colleague Saurabh Gupta has been tracking all the developments. Uh, in fact, those are the visuals coming to you from outside the ED office. There is a, a there is a thick presence of uh, security um, outside the ED office as Hemant Soren is there. Uh, a little while earlier, his wife. Kalpana Soren had also gone to see him. Let's have a look at the report that Saurabh Gupta has brought us. Former Jharkhand Chief Minister Heman Soren, who resigned only this evening, has now been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. This comes after hours of questioning at the official residence of the Chief Minister by the agency. Heman Soren resigned as Chief Minister and was then arrested. The ED had come to his residence a little after one o'clock in the afternoon to question him. That was the time Heman Soren had given them as Chief Minister of Jharkhand. But they said they would arrest him. Heman Soren refused to sign on the arrest memo before uh, he could meet the governor and submit his resignation. Obviously, understanding that if he had not resigned, there would be a constitutional crisis and obviously uh, that would lead to more complications so he resigned as chief minister and then of course he was placed under arrest by the enforcement directorate now champai soren has been chosen leader of the mahagat bandhan he is an old aide of shibu soren has been with shibu soren for years was also a close aide of heman soren he's not related to the soren family but he was the transport minister in the heman soren cabinet and is someone on whose name there was a consensus. Remember earlier there was an effort by Heman Soren to perhaps uh, you know, propose his wife's name which was also accepted by many but within the family, within the Soren family there was opposition according to sources. But now of course Champai Soren's name is some, something that has consensus and at this point Heman Soren, the former chief minister of Jharkhand has been arrested by the enforcement directorate. After a long day of hectic developments, a lot of security outside the official residence of the chief minister, Heman Soren was taken into custody. He then went to the Raj Bhavan, resigned as chief minister and has finally been arrested by the enforcement directorate in a case that it's been investigating. And this of course has also led to a certain amount of political instability because remember the JMM the Congress, the RJD and the others who are part of this alliance claim they have the majority but the governor has still not taken a decision or said what he will do on the proposal of Champai Soren to stake claim to form government after him and Soren's resignation. Mr. Gupta, tell us what is happening right now. What is the governor uh, telling uh, you guys who've claimed that there are 47 MLAs with you who are wanting to make the government. देखिए हमने अपने विधायक दल के नेता के रूप में आदरणीय चंपाई सोरेन जी को चुना है और हमने अपना समर्थन पत्र हम लोगों ने गठबंधन का दे दिया है महामहिम राज्यपाल महोदय से प्रार्थना है कि हमारी बहुमत की जो है गठबंधन है इसमें हमारे नेता चंपाई सोरेन जी को मुख्यमंत्री की शपथ दिलाई जाए और नए सरकार के गठन का मार्ग प्रशस्त किया जाए ऐसा हम उनसे निवेदन और प्रार्थना करते हैं और इसके लिए हमने समर्थन का पत्र भी दे दिया है हमारी नेता आदरणीय सोनिया गांधी जी राहुल गांधी जी मल्लिकार्जुन खड़गे साहब हमारे प्रभारी मीर साहब सबने का इसमें आशीर्वाद है इसमें ये पूर्ण बहुमत वाली जो है गठबंधन है इसमें कोई इपट नहीं है इसलिए बहुत साधारण सी बात है 
कि जब बहुमत गठबंधन को बहुमत हो और दावा पेश हो तो महामहिम राज्यपाल महोदय को जो है वो दिलानी चाहिए बन्ना जी क्या कल दोबारा आप लोग वापस जाएंगे प्लान क्या है आ, हमें ये सुनने को आया है कि आप लोगों को आज रात को एंटरटेन नहीं किया गया नहीं नहीं एंटरटेन की बात नहीं है जो हमारे जो पांच लोग गए थे हमारे सीएलपी लीडर गए थे जेएमएम के हमारे जो विधायक दल के नेता हैं वो गए थे हमारे विनोद सिंह जी गए थे तो जो हमारे पांच लोग गए थे उनसे महामहिम राज्यपाल महोदय ने बात किया है हमने समर्थन पत्र दिया है और हमने बताया कि ये गठबंधन को बहुमत है और जनता ने हमको बहुमत दिया है तो हमारे नेता को मुख्यमंत्री की शपथ दिलाई है well it brings an end to a long drawn out drama um between uh, uh, hemant soren and the government now this is how congress has reacted to soren's arrest congress mp rahul gandhi has said that agencies have become bjp's eliminate opposition cell and that the bjp is obsessed with power party chief mallikarjun kharge added that bjp was demolishing federalism and using agencies as a toolkit to eliminate opposition Switching tracks in an exclusive interview with NDTV Sanjay Pogalia external affairs minister S Jay Shankar spoke on his new book Why Bharat Matters The minister spoke on Indo-Pak ties and said that Pakistan will have to bear the consequences of harboring terrorists अच्छा जैसा आपने कहा कि पड़ोसियों के साथ एक्चुअली हमारे रिश्ते बहुत आगे बढ़ गए हैं और नए मुकाम पे आ गए हैं उसमें ये एक पीस जो है दूसरा वाला वो है पाकिस्तान उसमें हम कुछ ऐसा सुन रहे हैं कि आप लोग फिर से कुछ अब नया इंगेजमेंट किसी भी लेवल पे रिस्टेब्लिश करने वाले हैं नहीं नहीं देखे अब मैं फिर से शुरू करता हूँ कि पड़ोसी पड़ोसी होते हैं न वो हमें छोड़ सकते हैं ना हम उनको छोड़ सकते हैं पर अगर आप देखें कि हम इस हालात में कैसे आए इसके दो तीन कारण हैं मुख्य कारण तो आतंकवाद का है कि जब तक पाकिस्तान में ये सोच है कि आतंकवाद के दबाव से भारत को हम नेगोशिएटिंग टेबल पे ला सकते हैं ये हम इसको हम कभी मैंने हमारे लिए ये कभी मंजूर नहीं होगा तो हमें जो है एक किस्म से साबित करना है कि जितना आप माने आतंकवाद का उपयोग करोगे इसका आप ही को इसका नेगेटिव रिजल्ट आप ही को भोगना होगा मुझे लगता है कि पिछले दशक में ये साबित हो चुका है पर ये बहुत माने ये सालों से चल रहा है दशकों से चल रहा है तो इस ये बदलना इतना आसान भी नहीं आ, ये भी है कि आ, जो अभी की जो स्थिति जो है कि ये अभी आप जानते हैं कि हमारे एम्बेसडर ने हाई कमिश्नर नहीं है वहाँ उन्होंने अपना भी बुला लिया था और कुछ और भी कदम लिए थे ये उनके साइड से लिया गया था 2019 में लिया गया था तो आ, आ, मुझे लगता है कि हमें आ, इस पे आ, जो रिश्ते जो हैं इसको तो हम हर समय कोई भी मत महत्वपूर्ण रिश्ता है हम इसको रिव्यू करते रहते हैं खासकर अगर पड़ोसी रिश्ता है तो और भी करते हैं तो अभी देखना होगा कि आगे उनके यहाँ क्या माने उनकी राजनीति किस दिशा में जाती फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारामन विल प्रेजेंट द इंटरिम बजट ऑन थर्सडे वेंसडे वॉज द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ द बजट सेशन वे प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी सेट द टोन एंड रिमाइंडर फॉर द ऑपोजिशन एम पीज अर्जिंग दैम टू नॉट डिस्ट्रप्ट द प्रोसीडिंग्स रिमेंबर द लास्ट सेशन सो अ रिकॉर्ड नंबर ऑफ सस्पेंशन ऑफ एम पीज जो आदतम लोकतांत्रिक मूल्यों का चीरहरण करते हैं ऐसे सभी माननीय सांसद आज जब आखिरी सत्र में मिल रहे हैं तब जरूर आत्मनिरीक्षण करेंगे प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी वार्निंग टू दी अपोजिशन एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द बजट सेशन ऑफ पार्लियामेंट अर्जिंग डेम टू नॉट डिस्ट्रप्ट द प्रोसीडिंग एंड अ डायरेक्ट चार्ज ऑन दी अपोजिशन ऑफ ग्रिपिंग अपार्ट द डेमोक्रेटिक वैल्यूज द पी एम ऑल्सो रिएटरेटेड इज कॉन्फिडेंस ऑफ विनिंग अ थर्ड टर्म saying that his government would present the full budget once selected hum bhi usi parampara ka nirbhar karte hue 
पूर्ण बजट नई सरकार बनने के बाद आपके समक्ष लेकर के आएंगे फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारामन विल प्रेजेंट दी इंटरिम बजट ऑन थर्सडे President Draupadi Murmu gave her first speech in the new parliament. She made multiple mentions of the Ram Temple and said it fulfilled long-term aspirations of people. Ram Mandir ke nirman ki atanka sadiyo se thi. Aaj ye soch ho chuka hai. She said in the last decade. India has transformed from fragile five to a top five economy, and made in India is now a global brand. Opposition parties had mixed reactions to the president's speech. Congress called the speech a political speech. Propaganda or advertisement Modi ji ka usme dikhne laga. Rozgar ka ek shabd bhi nahi hai. वैसे तो सामान्य बातें थीं जो हर साल सुनते आए हैं उन्होंने बहुत सारी बातें सुन रहे थे लेकिन एक बहुत अच्छी बात थी जो जम्मू कश्मीर में या देश के बाउंड्री पे या पाकिस्तान हिंदुस्तान की बाउंड्री पे जो गांव हैं उनको पहले देश का आखिरी गांव कहा जाता था और आज महामहिम राष्ट्रपति के अभिभाषण में जो वहाँ गुजर मुसलमान या गुजर बकरवाल रहते हैं देश का पहला गाँव कहा गया है इसकी हम प्रशंसा करते हैं With this being the last session of Parliament, both the government and opposition will make efforts to win the battle of both politics and perception. The session will conclude on February 9. Bureau report, NDT. Though a key ally like Nitish Kumar has quit the India Bloc, but quarrels still continue. Mamta Banerjee once again hit out at Congress after declaring that she would go solo in Bengal Lok Sabha polls and putting yet another question mark over the future of India Alliance. Meanwhile, Nitish Kumar has also hit out at the India Bloc. He has alleged that India Bloc members never did any work and that he returned to NDA for betterment of Bihar. Let's listen in. हम तो नाम भी कह रहे थे कुछ दूसरा उन लोगों को अब अपना कर दिया था हम तो बोल दिए थे कि नाम ठीक नहीं है तो अपना कर दिया तो हम क्या ठीक है अब बाद में हालत देख न लिए हम तो कितना कोशिश कर रहे थे एक काम करवे नहीं किया एक काम नहीं कर रहा था आज तक तय किया कि कौन पार्टी कितना लड़ेगी कुछ नहीं हम तो फिर छोड़ दिए कि भाई छोड़ो भाई और छोड़ करके हम अपना आ गए तो जिनके साथ हम पहले से थे उनके साथ आ गए अब सब दिन हम इधरे रहे हमारे सीपीएम अनेक मेरे छे माथा थे के पाव पोजन तो फाटी दिए छे ताशोत तो मोने रख बैन अपना दिल आशीर्वाद दुआ यहीं बेचे आ ची सही सीपीएम क्या मैं कोनो दिन खोमा कोड बोना और सीपीएम में शादी जरा घोड़ करे और अब बीजेपी शादी घ आमी कांग्रेस के बोल लाम, तुम्हारे एक टाव एमएलए नहीं, दुटो एमपी सीट मालदा एक टा, मालदा ये दुटो आमी तुम्हारे दिच्छी, आम्रा जीतिए दोबो, बोल लो ना, आमर ओने एक चाय, आमी बोल लो तुम्हारे काम ये एक टाव दे बोना, तुम ही जाके सीपीएम में सॉन्ग को छाडो, तुम ही सीपीएम तुम्हारे नेता The Madurai bench of the Madras High Court has ordered the Tamil Nadu government to install boards saying that non-Hindus will not be allowed inside temples beyond the flagpole area. Here's a report. The Madurai bench of the Madras High Court has ordered boards to be put up in all Hindu temples across the state, restricting the entry of non-Hindus beyond the traditional flag staff or what's locally called Kodi Maram. The court said a temple is not a picnic or tourist spot and said Hindus have the fundamental right to practice their religion without interference. Non-Hindus seeking entry must give a written undertaking affirming their faith in the deity and must pledge that they would follow the temple customs. Some persons specifically making a problem in the temples. So that's why this order is very most important in the state at present scenario. So therefore, uh, the religious practice, those who are following the religious practice, they shall, they shall come and visit the premises and worshipping the God. This is the order. 
The court order is expected to universalize a practice already followed in several temples. The issue came up in court after a non-Hindu family reportedly sought entry into the much revered Dandavidapani or Murugan temple at Palani for recreation. The court said temples must adhere to customs and traditions, adding that the restrictions would ensure communal harmony. The present order has tricky elements. In a state that's also known for rationalism, what if a known atheist enter a temple? Would they be required to profess faith? The minister in charge of temples says they would take a call on challenging this only after a discussion. In Chennai, with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV. The language row has been reignited in Karnataka with the state governor returning the ordinance on increasing the use of Kannada on signboards of businesses. The language row has been reignited in Karnataka with the state governor returning the ordinance on increasing use of Kannada on signboards of businesses. It is very unfortunate that Governor Kunta shouldn't have rejected. It is a state issue. It is the honor of Karnataka. It is an honor of Karnataka. I think I request the governor to reconsider the decision. Uh, there is no objection anywhere. It is a very progressive thought. It was a which, uh, the law which was earlier also existing. Governor Tawar Chand Gelot has clarified that he has only advised that the bill be discussed in both the houses of legislature. राज्य पाल रो इजुवाग रो प्रामाणिक को आगे नड़कोल बेको सुग्री वाग नियन्ना थल्ला के रुद्ध सरियल्ला कन्नड़ वक्कूटा हंत हंत वागी वो राट मारती भी कन्नड़ कागी कन्नड़ नाम पलक कागी कन्नड़ गर उद्योग कागी तीव्र वादंता वो राटा the Siddharamaya administration chose the ordinance route after violent protests by Kannada activists vandalizing shops and malls in December last year. A 2018 order mandates all shopkeepers to have 60% of name boards in Kannada. Recently, the Bengaluru civic body set February end as the new deadline to make 60% Kannada boards mandatory. With the assembly session, Likely to commence next month, the Kannada signboards bill will get a special focus along with the budget because language is both pride and politics in Karnataka. With camera person Govan, Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV. Some international news now. Former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan and his wife Bushra Bibi has, have been sentenced to 14 years in prison after being found guilty of acquiring, acquiring expensive gifts from the state treasury illegally while he was in power. Trouble mounts for former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan. As the former World Cup winning captain was sentenced to 14 years in prison on Wednesday in a corruption case for retaining expensive state gifts when he was in power. His wife has also been handed the same quantum of punishment and has surrendered. The sentence was announced just a day after another special court in Pakistan convicted Imran Khan of leaking state secrets and awarded him 10 years prison sentence. Khan and his wife have also been barred from holding public office for 10 years and slapped with a fine of 787 million Pakistani rupees each. Reports suggest Imran Khan and his wife received 108 gifts from various heads of states when he was in power. They kept 58 gifts and undervalued them while paying a mandatory price to the state. Reacting to his legal troubles, an ex-post by Imran Khan's account from Tuesday quoted words of legendary Cuban leader Fidel Castro, I do not fear prison history will absolve me. Khan has been convicted three times since 2022 when he was ousted from power. He is already serving a three-year jail term. With the general election just a week away, there is no hope for former Pakistan all-rounder for another term at the top. Vishal Vivek for NDTV. Well, that's all we could pack into this bulletin. Thanks for watching.